The Bull Terrier has been described as a three-year-old child in a dog suit. Busy, busy, busy. What can I get into? Keep me entertained. The clownish antics of these dogs have drawn fans that include the powerful, President Theodore Roosevelt had one, the royal, England's Princess Anne has two, and the famous, the dogs themselves. Most well known, maybe Spuds McKenzie, who reigned as the spokes dog for Bud Light. Spuds McKenzie was actually a female dog, and she didn't like beer. Of course, dogs shouldn't be drinking beer, but that's just a side note. As the name implies, the Bull Terrier is part Bulldog and part Terrier. They were bred in 19th century England for the then popular pastime of dog fighting and were called the gladiator of the dog world. But they were disappointing in the ring. They were actually pretty successful, however, in the rat killing ring. In 1850, an English dog dealer created the White Bull Terrier, which became a fashionable pet. A cross between the Old Bull Terrier, the English White Terrier, and other breeds, rumored to include Dalmatian, Collie, and Borzoi, resulted in the smaller, more elegant dog we know today. Today, these personable dogs come in a variety of coat colors, but are most easily identified by their egg-shaped head, which slopes to a Roman nose. Scientifically, their unique head shape is due to the fact that the Bull Terrier's skull has no indentations in the dorsal ventral nose bend, so the skull is rounded and sloping. Another unique feature, their triangular eyes. They are the only recognized breed to have them. The Bull Terrier is not a big dog. Their average weight is 45 to 50 pounds, and it's mostly muscle. Pound for pound, the Bull Terrier has more muscle than any breed of dog. The whole package adds up to one charismatic canine. These delightful dogs have charisma and are great companions. But they're an active breed and will do well in an apartment only with vigorous daily exercise. Bull Terrier puppies must be checked for deafness. They are also prone to a myriad of health issues, including heart and kidney problems, slipped kneecaps, skin allergies, epilepsy, and OCD. You'll see bull terriers chasing their tail, although that might seem kind of funny, it's really OCD. Grooming is easy. They have a short, dense coat that only requires occasional brushing. These are smart dogs with strong personalities. Training will be less of a challenge with structure and consistency. I don't think a bull terrier is a dog for a novice to own. And they're loyal dogs who become attached to their owners. They do well with an active older family who can provide companionship and supervision. They just have too strong of a personality for a lot of kids in the house. So in general, the bull terrier is an energetic dog who will do well in an apartment with regular exercise. They have a list of health issues, but grooming is a breeze. They make delightful companions and a good pet for active families with older children. Yeah.